My brother Stephen, he was a visionary. In the early 70s, started a bar in Greenwich Village. Opening act was uh, Janis Joplin, Sly and the Family Stone, and B.B. King. Stephen owned the Roxy Roller Disco. He owned the Palladium, the places people that were famous went to see. I've never met anybody like him. I've never heard of anybody like him. Everyone he encountered, whether it was a hat check girl, was a taxi driver, got a hundred dollar bill. He was brilliant, knew a lot about many subjects, and he was also a very kind person. Stephen was very interested in medical research, and he also became very close to Memorial Sloan Kettering when he came down with a rare strain of lymphoma and was treated there. Unfortunately, not successfully, but Stephen stipulated in his will that he wanted the bulk of the estate to go to medical institutions. Six and a half years ago, my wife saw something she didn't like on her granddaughter's skin. She had bruises, and Harlow's white blood count was over 240,000. Charlie's granddaughter had cancer, and he got to know a little bit about High Lifeline through the services that Harlow received. Harlow has been cancer-free, and I'm very fortunate that the road was smoothed over and made easier by High. The Greenberg Foundation was created specifically to help hospitals. Camp Simcha is a hospital for kids disguised as a camp. The fact that Michael and Charlie were able to make a gift through the Stephen A. Greenberg Foundation to expand the medical wing and a wellness center is monumental for our families. As an organization, we can't begin to express how grateful we are. I note as a mother of a High Lifeline child. This was something we felt that Stephen would really have been gratified to do. Stephen loved children, and I'm grateful to have his legacy live on. I hope the Stephen A. Greenberg Medical Wing and the Children's Facility brings a lot of joy to the children that are there.